Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's video. It's a little bit of an impromptu video, but it is going to be about the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection. I'm actually going to be doing a palette comparison video when I received this collection in PR from ColourPop. Thank you so much to them. I received this, I asked on my Instagram what you would want to see, and I got a variety of different answers, but the one that I kept seeing over and over again was palette comparisons, because I've been hearing a lot of people say, you know, we think it looks similar to different palettes that you might already have, different, different palettes that are already on the market. So I thought I would go through and swatch the ones that I felt like were closest in my collection. I'll be doing a four different palette comparisons to the Gather Round Sisters palette from ColourPop. It is going to be launching the day that this video goes live, which is Thursday, October 1st. So if you want to hear a little bit more about this palette, see some swatches and also comparisons because I did find a few that were pretty similar to this one, but also one that is really, really, really close. So if you want to hear about that, why don't we go ahead and get started? Like I mentioned, it's a bit of an impromptu video because I was actually planning to film for this tomorrow and I was going to put it up on Friday. If you are new to my channel, Hello, welcome. My name is Samantha March. I typically post videos four days a week. I post on Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, and Tuesday, but I decided to put this one up on Thursday instead of my regular Friday video. I had planned to do just kind of what my normal is when I get collections in from ColourPop, which is a look with the palette and, you know, maybe anything else that came in the collection, swatches of the palette, because that always seems to be the most interesting thing, and then just kind of my first thoughts on it. But because so many people were requesting comparisons, I thought that's what I could focus this on also because I didn't receive absolutely everything in the collection so I cannot show you everything I cannot swatch everything for you uh, but I did get the palette so I figured that we could focus on that and ColourPop did have a pretty big issue with the launch the launch was supposed to happen on Wednesday September 30th I could not get on the website. I kept trying. Um, it was kind of a disaster and they eventually had to delay the launch an extra day for in order for Shopify to get their servers correct because there were so many people on the website trying to purchase this collection. I did figure that this would be a pretty popular one. I didn't quite think it was going to go like this because they've done some pretty popular collections in the past like sailor moon is one i'm thinking off the top of my head i wasn't sure how hocus pocus was going to be received especially because so many people were kind of saying that they weren't very interested in the palette but again just like i mentioned in my will i buy it that went up yesterday which is where i talk about new makeup releases uh, i did say you know there's more to this collection than just the palette you have a lip duo there's gel eyeliners they're the glitterly glitterly obsessed there's lashes i was almost a little bit surprised to see that they could they absolutely could not launch the collection on the original launch date so because it got pushed back i figured why not just sit down it's eight o'clock at night <laughs> uh why not just sit down and film these palette comparisons and that way i can get it up tomorrow so before the launch actually happens you can decide at least for the palette do you think that you need this one do you still just really want it do you maybe have something similar in your collection and I hope that you find it helpful. So this palette does retail for $22. This is the outer box. I mentioned in my Will I Buy It video that I am such a huge fan of Hocus Pocus. There was a few products from the collection that definitely called my attention. I wanted to grab a pair of the lashes and I also wanted to grab a lip duo. I did end up getting sent a lip duo. I also received the flirty lashes which are like the really dramatic lashes and those were not the ones that I would have picked for myself. So that's why I was going on the website because I wanted to purchase a pair of lashes that I actually wanted it from the collection that I would wear myself but I was really excited to get this because I was kind of going back and forth on the palette myself like I wasn't sure if I could if I should get it uh, I did find it to maybe be similar especially to some other ColourPop palettes in my collection so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show a close-up and some swatches of this palette it's going to retail for $22 I believe is the price that I saw on the website when it was up for just a hot second you get the 15 different shades I love the packaging on it I love the artwork again a huge Hocus Pocus fan I think everything is really well done in that regard. I will say that when I first saw the photos of this palette, I wasn't quite as interested. I feel like seeing it in person is definitely a lot different than the photos that I was seeing online. The colors look more, they just look more vibrant. They look a little bit deeper. The palette almost gives me more of a grungier feel than I felt like I was first seeing from those photos online. It kind of just looked a little bit more muted, maybe just like not quite as exciting for me personally uh so when i actually opened this one up i was like oh okay i, I was happy about it that's 
it ha it happens a lot. It's happened with other makeup brands. It's happened with other palettes where I see a photo online. I'm like, yeah, probably not for me. And then I buy it or I, I receive it and I see it in person. I'm like, wait a second, that looks way different. So I did have to say that I was excited to see that. And when I swatched it, it swatched so beautifully. Sometimes with collaborations, I get a little bit worried like, is it still going to be the same quality as everything? Because with ColourPop, I have felt like there has been a few collections in the past, especially the Disney collections. The Frozen collection really didn't do anything for me. Even some of the um, the Disney Princess palette and the Villains palette, like fine. But this to me, this felt like really, really nice quality. I am going to be doing a look on my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. I'm not. Uh, wearing the palette right now because again I was not intending on filming today so I was actually filming work for <laughs> something else. The swatches and from my first feel of this palette it definitely feels like that ColourPop eyeshadow formula that I do prefer. Right, so jumping into the palette comparisons I also asked on my Instagram are there any palettes in particular that you really want to see and I took some of the top requests and then I also did my own swatches to see like what was actually the most similar because I really wanted to share with you the ones that I thought were most similar in my collection also basing it off your preferences. And I'm not going to lie, there was a few palette suggestions that came in that I was like, really? You think that one's close? And I was actually pretty surprised at some of these because the top requested one that people wanted to see comparisons with was the Sigma Untamed palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. I have mentioned this one so much recently, but honestly, I this was not one of the first palettes that came to my mind to do a comparison with. But when I actually went out, I got this palette, I opened it up, I put it next to the Hocus Pocus, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, I can see some similarities in there, definitely. And this palette, the Sigma palette, retails for $49. It is available now on the Sigma website. I do have a code with Sigma. It's Samantha if you're interested in this one because again, like I said, it's a favorite palette of mine. Uh, that's an affiliate code. My code with ColourPop is 5Samantha for orders of $5 off of, yes, for $5 off orders of 20 or more and that's a non-affiliate code. So between the two of these, I could definitely notice quite a few similarities. I wouldn't say it's, you know, they're not exact dupes for one another. I couldn't find every single shade in this palette that corresponded with every single shade in this palette, but I was just kind of getting, trying to do the closest ones and swatching them in the same order so you could get a better visual of if they are really similar to one another or not. I also really do like the Sigma eyeshadow palette formula. I think it's really nice. This palette does also come with a double-ended brush. Both the brushes are Sigma brushes. I think that's a really good deal also, but obviously the one from ColourPop is gonna be more affordable. So in the ColourPop, you do have a pressed glitter in here where you don't have a pressed glitter in the Sigma palette. The ColourPop palette also has more of those like darker pinky purple matte shades in here where you really don't have that in the Untamed palette. They kind of lean a little bit more on this red and terracotta side. Uh, in the Sigma palette, you have some different type of shades like the mustard shade uh, and the blue shimmer over here, whereas in the ColourPop, like just some of the shimmer shades don't quite match up, but uh, that is a comparison between the Sigma Untamed and the ColourPop Hocus Pocus. I do also want to say, please do not make fun of me because I really wanted to swatch on both arms and then kind of put my arms together so you could see the similarities versus like taking a picture and trying to line up the picture. And I am right-handed, so trying to do swatches with my left hand to then be able to swatch on my right hand, those are all, the, the ones that are swatched on my right hand are the palettes that I'm comparing them to. I did like the really nice ColourPop swatches on my left hand. So please don't make fun of my swatches. I'm not a professional swatcher. I don't have cool stencils like other people do. Even like filming them, I really was, I don't do palette comparisons very often, but I figured, why not give this one a shot and see what you think? But I'm definitely going to have to like rework my setup the next time I do something like that because the position that I was in in order to get those shots was very awkward and uncomfortable. <laughs> so the second highest palette that was being requested to compare was another one from ColourPop and this is the Garden Variety palette. This one is a bit newer to ColourPop. This one is still available on the website and it retails for $20. When I started seeing the Garden Variety request come in, I was like, really this one because to me this one is just it's so much lighter it's a little bit more on that pastel side that i was like huh really but they just kept coming in and they just kept coming in so when i actually opened it i can see where people were coming from i can see where we're thinking that the similarities could come into play to me these are almost kind of like sister palettes to one another but the hocus pocus is going to be darker it's going to be grungier um just even more like the, the shadows are going to be more pigmented 
versus with the garden variety everything's a little bit lighter and airier a little bit more pastel a little bit more on just kind of like that lighter washed side it's still it's a really pretty palette like i mean it's it's kind of like your day to night situation here is how i thought of these two palettes because this one is still really pretty like i'm still gonna use this one a lot because this is like kind of my go to like everyday type of makeup look where sometimes some of the shadows in here is going to be maybe not quite so my norm but you could pair these two together or if you really want it one or the other you know it could come down to your makeup preferences because while i did find like a few similarities shade wise i think again they're just they're kind of more like day to night type of palettes with one another but uh, I, I was a little bit surprised when I actually went in and started swatching that there are a few that I was like, okay, yes, I can see this or I can see that shadow in the Garden Friday and it's just amped up a little bit more in the Hocus Pocus palette. So again, it's definitely going to be your preference. Maybe you want to purchase this collection simply because it's Hocus Pocus and you love that. I know I saw a lot of questions or a lot of comments about that. If that's your thing, do you? I mean, honestly, that's fine. If you're really just wanting to you know get this palette because you like the color scheme and maybe you have something similar in your collection hopefully this video is helping you out all right next up this palette was also getting requested but this was also the palette that i immediately thought of when i first saw the photos of the hocus pocus and it's another one from ColourPop in collaboration with disney and this is the midnight masquerade palette so this one is like the disney princess palette so the artwork has all of the disney princesses at top on the top to me this packaging is kind of Hard because it's so reflective to me when I first saw the photo this palette is immediately what jumped into my mind I mentioned it in my will I buy it video and I was like I you know I'm not so sure I'm gonna need it because it just it looks so similar to this palette now the midnight masquerade does have a couple press glitters in here um, there's only that one press glitter in the hocus pocus and it's uh, more of that darker gold so I didn't see an exact uh, dupe in here but I will say again once I actually opened this palette I was like oh no that's actually that's actually way more different than the Midnight Masquerade than I was originally thinking. And I do think that there are some similarities in the palette, especially with some of the mattes and some of the darker mattes on the bottom. I will say that the Midnight Masquerade is one of the palettes that didn't really perform the, the best for me. When I got it, one of the shades I was trying out was this darker blue one, and it's just harder to work with. I'm only basing this off swatches, so please just take this with a grain of salt since I actually haven't put it on, on my eyes yet. But even just swatching it, this is like the ColourPop formula that I really like. This is one that I'm like, I don't like, eh, I just, meh, I'm not really sure. I've done like ColourPop ranking videos with all of my palettes and these kind of always go towards the end because I just, the quality to me is a little bit different. Right, and last up is a palette that I had not even considered. This was all from my Instagram DMs and people responding to my question. And I saw quite a few come in for this palette and I was like, okay. And I went and pulled it out and right when I opened it, I was like, okay, okay. How did I not think of this one? This is from Sydney Grace and it is the Autumn's Rain palette. When I opened this, I was like, Woo doggy, let me go get that Hocus Pocus palette because I think we are going to be finding some similarities in here. So just to hold them up next to one another, these are really, really similar. So when I said in the beginning that, you know, yes, there's some comparables in here, but this is the one, this is the comparison that I was like, these are super similar to each other. They're not exactly the same. Again, there's some shades in the uh, Sydney Grace Autumn Rain that aren't in the Hocus Pocus and vice versa. There is no pressed glitters in the Sydney Grace palette, but wow, the, it was it was really close. And when I was swatching, I was like, dang, this kind of this one kind of blew my mind. Now the Sydney Grace palette does retail for $52. Uh, you do once again get the 15 shades. You also do have a mirror in here. So obviously this one is a lot more expensive than what I believe this one is going to be $22 for the ColourPop. So obviously this one is more expensive. So I'm not saying it's a dupe as in like it's cheaper. But if you do already have this one or again if you're really loving the color scheme in Hocus Pocus but it sells out and who knows I don't know if it's going to come back if it does sell out but if the response on the original launch day means anything it might sell out but you're like man I still really want that color scheme I know it's more expensive but Sydney Grace has quality 
eyeshadow a quality eyeshadow formula it's so impressive and once again like when i went back into this palette and i started swatching it again i was like so if you'd want to try them out they're an indie brand the owner who is heather is one of the kindest souls out there they're such a sweet brand so if you really like the color scheme and this is sold out but you still really want to get something similar to it i mean i can link all of these other palettes in my description box also maybe you have the palette you know maybe you are someone who the hocus pocus theme doesn't get to you but you're like oh i like that i mean if you have this one go back in because i bet you're going to be able to, to create really similar looks with it and it was one that i was kind of shocked about so I really wanted to create this video and get it up before the rescheduled launch just in case in, in you know hopefully you find this helpful in some way but if you're kind of teetering back and forth and you weren't really sure and you really wanted to see some comparables uh, i hope that you found this one helpful definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments though are you still going to try to get it no matter what is there other items in the collection that you are more excited for and i'm going to do a look with this on my instagram i'm also going to use the lip duo that was sent to me so if you want to see that you can head over to my instagram which is march beauty word but another thank you to ColourPop for sending this over because I'm a huge Hocus Pocus fan. I'm really excited to have this and uh, just once again I hope that you found this video helpful. Definitely let me know your thoughts. So uh, are there any other palettes? I, I know a lot of people were requesting to have it compared to the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell I believe is what it's called. I do not have that palette so that's why you're not seeing it compared in here because I can't. But I hope that you found it helpful and if you are a regular watcher of mine and you know that I upload on Friday, there is going to be no video on Friday, but I will be back with a new video on Sunday for you. So other than that, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful, if you just appreciate that I'm filming this at 8 o'clock at night and I'm going to try to get it edited and up at 9 o'clock in the morning so it's up before the launch, please give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.